You know, I don't think so. And I don't think I'm more uh, privacy conscious than the average person. But when you start getting into Bitcoin, then you start, I mean, in my case, that meant getting into cryptography as well, because I, I just, it's just my nature is I'm just going to go into the, the bottom layer of it and actually not try at least to understand it properly. And then I got really fascinated by all the cryptography that surrounds it. And then you start sort of studying. I remember like spending, maybe it was 2013 or 14, I spent like a month or two actually going through these challenges. They're called the... Matasano challenges, or they were at the time anyway. And it's like you go through every like different way that cryptography is used in, in actual real systems and you just slowly build it up. And you realize that you, you have to have this paranoid mindset. There's all these different ways that things can be attacked. And, you know, trying to defend privacy is very, very difficult, uh, just in the sense of like trying to encrypt data. There are so many ways you can screw up doing that. Uh, and then as you, as you start using Bitcoin, you see, you know, all the limitations and all the difficulties of trying to, um, trying to have a reasonable level. So, so, so I see it in other words, I see it more as like, I, I, I have a reasonable level of privacy and I think most people think they have, but probably they don't think about it too much. I, I'm not super paranoid about nobody knowing anything about me. I just have like a normal level of privacy, but trying to match that either to modern IT systems in the, in the normal world or to Bitcoin is extremely hard because just by default, you have so little privacy. Okay.